If you're curious how to start running your bees with foundationless frames, what you can do is take this wedge out, clean it. This is a real simple trick here. It takes a little time to do it. Clean this. Remember, you don't get it here very often, so you might as well clean it good while you're in there. Okay, now instead of putting the wedge down the way it was, we're going to stand it up. And what that's going to do, that's going to give the bees a guide to draw out the comb. Bees need a little bit of guidance. If they don't have guidance, you could have... If you put a bunch of these in your box, let's put it this way. You put a bunch of these in a deep, what they're going to do is they could run comb this way. So what you're going to do is give them some guidance. But to encourage them to draw this out, what I have done is went a step further and heated some beeswax up in my uh, in my cooker. And I brushed it on there with a paintbrush right on that wedge. Now, you take a close look at this, you can see that that is the wedge that normally goes in there to hold in the foundation. But instead of laying it flat, I stood it upright. Giving, uh, giving the bees a guide. Now, you wouldn't want to insert 10 of these into a deep. You wouldn't want to have, you, you don't want to overdo it with these. You kind of want to give the bees some guidance. So to get yourself started, I would suggest foundation frames every other one and what that's going to do is that's going to keep the bees from running cross comb and you can always wean these back out okay so that's how you uh, you go foundationless you, I've also seen on uh, Honey Love Channel, they had a great idea of where you could just take popsicle sticks where you could buy from Michael's Craft Shop or, or something. And I believe they had three or four popsicle sticks and they fit pretty nicely across there and they just used a staple gun to tack them on.